name is Carissa Black. I'm at Berkeley Middle School, and I'm the stretch teacher there. And we're here at Rube Goldberg. They've had several months to work on these projects in class, and also been learning about simple machines. Our plan is that a car goes down an inclined plane, then it's gonna hit a pulley that sets off a domino effect, which will get bigger by blocks to blocks to blocks. We will knock down a bowling ball that hits our lever and it has a screw at the end which pops the balloon. Um, but they do have to use at least five different simple machines. Okay, so this is a our pulley and we have our stuffed animal which knocks over some dominoes that we are going to put up and then the dominoes, this will be folded like this and there will be marbles. The dominoes will hit the marbles into this tube and then a balloon will be at the end of the table and it will pop a, pop the balloon with the with the nail on the tip of the car. And this contraption that they're going to make has to have at least six different steps and at the end the goal is to pop the balloon. There's a chain of dominoes, hit the marbles which go down the funnel and then go into the tube and then go on the lever and then it falls over and goes into another tube and the car would come down with a screw attached to it and run into it and pop it. It really helps them to realize that it's possible to work in a group and they're able to have that team building experience even within their own peers. It's going to go up this ramp, knock down some dominoes, and then after the car hits the pole, it's going to knock it over and pop the balloon. So the science, the physics, also the, the chance to stand up and present something. We're going to have a string connected to our ball in a stuffed animal and then a car will come down and the car attached to it has two plastic knives that are sharp and with the amount of momentum it will pop the balloon. So getting to have that confidence to make a presentation about something they've created from their own imagination, I, I think it's a really important life skill.